everybody welcome back to the channel first of all i wanted to thank you guys a lot for a thousand subscribers it's been a crazy three years and i'm glad to have been of service there are no objects here today for the question who is thinking about you this was one of the poll winners right so after this we'll get back to those then and nows co-workers and families but first four piles here today for the question who is thinking about you what are they thinking about you all right so pickupile.com aceofchalices.net I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart once again okay pile one who is thinking about you let's see your card pile one who is thinking about my pile one Nine of Cups, Four of Pentacles, Two of Wands, Two of Swords, and the Hangman with the Knight of Swords on the bottom, the Death, and the Seven of Wands. Okay, this could be an air or water sign you've been connected with. There could have been some kind of discussion here which resulted in people being closed off, um, pulling back, defensive. Maybe there was a lot of words exchanged and this person couldn't process at all. Or you could have, like maybe you were on the receiving end of the words. However, I do see that this is a person who looks at you as some kind of wish fulfillment here. It's this person who has a lot of emotions for you with the Nine of Cups there and the Four of Pentacles. They want to keep you to themselves. But I feel like this person has an issue with communication. They could be a Scorpio. Just putting that out there. Okay, um, not because of the communication thing, but just because death, death was looking right back at me, right? So. I feel like this person is at a standstill. They don't know what to say because of a decision that needs to be made here. Two of Wands, Two of Swords. This is all about a decision that someone wants to make towards something they fancy, but it's as if the decision hasn't been made yet with the outcome card here is the hangman. So this is a person, could be Pisces too, all right. This is a person who has not made a decision. This is the person thinking about you right now, pile one. So they don't know how to make a decision because of some kind of paralyzing fear. They have a fear of what to say. Maybe they don't know what you're gonna say, if they were to tech talk to you, they're hoping for a sign, but they don't know how to talk to you about it. I'm seeing you may be very confident right now. I think that you, during the conversation, you spoke your mind about a lot of different things. You came off very confident, and this person is very intimidated by you. They don't know how to deal with you. Like, they, they don't know how to hide anything from you, you know? You seem to know the answers, and you seem to understand them better than they understand themselves with the Knight of Cups. I feel like you have genuine... Um, insight to this person's life and they are scared they don't know what to do they want to build something with you but this person is very brash i don't know if they're dishonest or not i'm not seeing any dishonest cards here but i do see this person has a, a heavy lust for you as well this could be your ex or someone you never formally got with this is a person who is going through a rough time and they don't know how to make this decision okay let's see what else are they thinking about you, right? So what are they thinking about my power one? What do they want my power one to know? Ten of Wands. They're going through a lot of burdens right now and ending out cycles. They may have a lot of... Yeah, Ten of Wands and the Seven of Cups. They may have a lot of suitors around. Clarify the Seven of Cups. Four of Wands, but it's blocked off. This person could be fighting off other connections as well. Not just yours. Queen of Swords and Air Sign could be involved here. Eight of Wands. I feel like this person is going to message you, but it could be in a while. Maybe seven days, seven, eight days, seven, eight weeks, seven, eight hours. I'm not certain. But this person has something to apologize to you about. And I do feel like they are going to apologize to you. They may not bring up the connection as in that, that way because i feel like you are going a separate way you may be single from this person the hermit nine of pentacles you are gaining knowledge 
gaining skills, gaining a way to be sufficient without them. I'm seeing that you've built a life without them and all they could do is say sorry. This is the person that's thinking about you, Pile One. Thank you for joining me here today. I love you. I'll see you in the next one, guys, right? Bye. Pile Two, this is going to be the reading for who is thinking about you and what are they thinking about you. What do they want? All right, so let's get right into it and see your cards. Pile two, who's thinking about my pile two? Swords, Two of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, The Sun, with the Eight of Wands on the bottom. This is a person that you may have met at work. Fire sign, Earth sign. For some of you, water. Okay, this is a person who's very financially well off, you know? This is a person that you're talking to. You may have also met this person while you were traveling for work. I see that this person is has been back and forth messaging you for a while. They may have not have expressed their emotions, but this is someone very interested in you and very interested in growing things in general. Um, that's what their life is about right now. This is a person that works very hard and is very calm. This is a person who is grounded in their emotions and in their materials. And this is a person who does has who does have options in their life. They, this is a single person right now. This single person is very much so very happy uh, on their own. But this is a person who's thinking about you right now because uh, they like your chemistry. They feel like you're very uh, intelligent. They really enjoyed their chat with you. This is someone you've talked for a bit, and uh, they want to progress things. Eight is like the mastery number here in progression. Eight also stands for abundance, numerology. It's almost like, yeah, this person met you. They're having the time of their life, right? And this person met you and is thinking about you. And now they're increasing in their messages or they're increasing in their efforts. This is someone that can't get you off their mind. They do have options here, like two, maybe there's another person, but they like you more, I'm seeing, but they're seeing what grows. Uh, it's a very fun loving person. A lot of people chase them in their past, but this person has gotten rid of uh, toxic people from their past and They're really focused on being happy and staying happy with the nine of cups and the sun. This is someone they may have a child From a previous relationship Okay Clarify the two of pentacles. What about this option they have in balance? Yeah, they they flirt a bit but this person does have a wound from the past as well, which is why they are going to be meticulous about deciding who they settle with next or uh, partner up with next. Uh, they're taking it, the decision very seriously, right? Even though this is a flirt, this is someone who can get almost anyone they want. This is a person who's very selective and they do have an emotional pain from the past. Um, this person is doing well to forgive that. I mean, they wouldn't be this happy if they weren't able to, to some degree, heal their pain, right? Uh, so this person is getting really successful with that. It's They like you a lot, but they're not rushing themselves, okay, to commit or freak you out. It's like that kind of a thing. But this person gets a good feeling that they could have the Ten with you, the Ten of Pentacles. They are right now vibrating at the Nine of Cups. This person is getting everything they wanted in life and out of life. And... Uh, very lucky person and they find you to be someone that would add to that luck all right pal too so this is the person that's thinking about you right now what are they thinking about you knight of pentacles they want to take it slow and steady but they're doing it in honesty thank you for joining me here today i love you i'll see you in the next one guys bye hi there pile three this is going to be reading here for who is thinking about you what are they thinking about you all right thanks for joining me here today let's see what your cards are 
Who's thinking about my pile three? Who's thinking about my pile three? Pile three. Who is thinking about my pile three? Ace of Swords, Seven of Swords, could be Air Sign, Three of Swords, Death, the Six of Wands. Okay. Chariot on the bottom, Six of Cups, Knight of Cups on the bottom. Okay. This could be a Cancer or an Air Sign. I feel like this is somebody who broke your heart in the past and they have been exposed or they are going to be exposed or some new truth is coming out about this person that's going to... You're gonna feel like locking this person up and throwing away the key. Something new is gonna come out about this person. This person you loved very much. Okay, this is an ex, all right? This is an ex that you loved very much. You're gonna find out something. They may be going to jail. A message I'm getting here is the 11 of swords. You know, it goes up to 10, right? From saying ace of swords, seven of swords. That's eight of swords. That's jail, right? And then after that is three of swords. That's 11. So, you know how they say like 10 is when you're just dead? Like the guy's dead on the floor. There's blood coming out and everything. That's 10. That's the worst you get. You're dead. How could it get worse than that, right? This person is going to get a fate worse than that, I feel like. And uh, they have to change. Look, they're forced to change. And you are also forced to change. I'm seeing you having a glow up right now. And... Uh, this person is on the outs watching it and they're feeling heartbroken right now the center of it is they're feeling heartbroken over you because you've changed completely um and i think you're going away i think you're also traveling right now with the six of wands and the six of wands in the in this uh prisma visions it's like you're going away into the sunset and uh you're going alone you're taking all your winnings and you're just disappearing into the sunset you don't uh you're not looking back also the chariot this person is going through a rainy season right now. They could have had a car, uh, a, a car offense, you know, a motor vehicle accident or some kind of suspension. Seven of Swords here. This person could have like lied to you a lot. I'm seeing with the Ace of Swords here. They look at you as the truth. You may have communicated to this person something about jail or something about the truth or something about a mental prison because. Eight of Swords is also a mental prison. It doesn't have to literally be prison, but... Eight of Swords in a mental prison means, like... A person it could be so worried, so anxious, so up in their head that they're not taking actions. And when a person is in that energy, right? Their solution might actually be, like, 90% of the time, it is a practical solution. But they're not making any step to do it because they keep going in circles with demonizing thoughts doubts fears um maybe other people are around that influence their decision to the point where they're not seeing their own life correctly um and because of that they can't make a decision correctly because they're not in a healthy mental space right this person is not doing so well because something about this change in both of you they can't seem to wrap their head around it uh they're overthinking about you and they're growing lovesick this person really feels sick I'm getting real, real illness. Maybe they have an illness. The devil, oh gosh. I was saying they may have an illness, then I saw the devil. That's a sign of possibly an STD. Because there's death and the devil there, oh gosh. The magician. This person could have been very manipulative. Or they're still like that. And they got some kind of STD or the ten of swords. Some Something is crashing down ending. Ten to the eleven of swords, gosh. You know, there's no such thing as 11, but like I said before, what that means, what the message I'm getting here is overkill. Something is overkill. All right. All right. What are they thinking about you? Clarify the six of wands. The moon, the seven of wands. They don't know how to talk to you now. Check pile one. That could also be your pile. Okay. So seven of wands here with the moon. This person's sad about your defensive side. Something about the way you talked, maybe you let them down easy. Or maybe you made it 
you made something evident that that would be like the last time you're gonna talk or like one of the last times and i think this person took it very bad it went straight to this person's like it you broke this person's ego into pieces this is the person that's thinking about you right now pal three thanks for joining me i love you i'll see you in the next one guys bye pal four this is going to be your reading for who is thinking about you what are they thinking about you all right so let's get into it pick a pile.com chalices.net like the video if you like it all right so let's see who's thinking about my pile four and how come Pile four. Who's thinking about my pile four? Could be Pisces. Water sign. Three of Cups. Ten of Wands. Justice. The Ace of Wands. Page of Pentacles. Four of Cups. This is someone very bored without you. They could have been your. This could be an ex-wife, ex-husband. Uh, with the Emperor and the Ten of Cups and the Four of Cups here. This person is missing drinking with you or missing partying with you, missing being your friend. I feel like you called it quits. This person was very problematic. Maybe they were, they are the one that filed for divorce, but they're very, they were the problematic one. And this person is missing you sexually. And they want to apologize to come back towards you sexually. They're seeing that you are looking very beautiful maybe they got maybe they got some kind of download or news that you're dating again with the queen of wands knight of wands i feel like you're on the market you're taking your pick because um maybe you recently went clubbing right uh, clubbing or you took photos of yourself in a very populated place so something about it they just know that people are seeing you right and uh this person is very bored they want to be with you in the action. They want to be with you and they want people to see them with you. I feel like you got justice out of the situation though. Like maybe it wasn't didn't start that way. I feel like it, it did take a toll on you a bit because you know with the Ten of Wands, that's the back breaking card. That's like you, it was cumulatively being a pain in your ass, all right? It got worse and worse and worse until it was over something about it it's like this person was started as your friend first but i feel like this uh quickly got boring for both of you um perhaps there was love bombing in the situation with the emperor i'm taking it as a reverse think of it like four of cups like maybe it like started off three of cups went to the four of cups it started off really fun it started like you're emotionally there but this person was so quick to become a pain in your ass that quite possibly the emotions weren't real because how can it fizzle out so quickly if it's not true, you know, if it's not genuine? If you do love someone, if you do like someone even, it's kind of hard to hate them. I mean, that's just from my experience. I mean, when you like someone, it's kind of hard to hate them, right? So it's like this person pretended to be another person. And then the marriage, you know, after, you know, you start living with this person, I guess you start to see, you know, their real colors, right? Like... Yeah, I know you're lazy, but how lazy are you? Or like, yeah, okay, you don't smell so great. How fucking bad do you do does it get though? Or like, what is it? Like, who this person is on the regular made you realize it's not the person you like anymore. Because this person, let's say they tried three hundred percent when you met them, and then after you got to know them, you you started seeing their persona break down and. It's just, it was sex for you, and it was good, but this person uh, feels too immature for you now. They're seeing you as the king of cups. You're not talking about it much to people or to anyone, and you are on the market. You're dedicated to replacing this person. Clarify that. Four of swords. You do pray for them. Four to the six. You do hope that they move out of their situation whatever it's like you want things to be good between them between you and them but you don't really consider them anymore they caused you a lot of pain and you're starting new things this person wants to come in because they saw you starting new things they saw you wearing new clothes they maybe um they want to take something back i'm hearing take something back 
we may have something of theirs. No, decision. Two, two ones. They want to take their decision back. This is like... <laughs> Excuse me. This is like a person that... Um, they do bold moves just to see what you're going to do. They're not fully intentional when they do stupid shit. Or even normal stuff, right? They just feed off of a reaction and... I think they carry on with their whole life like that. I don't think they're invested in anything. They just... Let me do this, let me see what they do. Let me do this, let me see what they do. This is a retard. Like, don't get with this person. You know, I know I said the R word, whatever. But, whatever, man. I don't care. <laughs> like, this, 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 this gives me that vibes. Like, this is like a bot, right? So, take this person's sex back at your discretion. I don't like this person. I feel like this person doesn't want to, like, grow up at all. Whoever this is. They don't want to grow up, but you standing in your power, standing in your power and you wishing them the best is changing them. But if you were to go back towards them, it's going to stop their progress again. So I feel like it is the, for the best that you take a long break from this person. This is your karmic. They are getting justice right now. All right, pal four. So I love you guys. Thank you once again for 1,000. Very excited. Let's go 10K. Let's go 100K. All right, so... I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.